Hello, my name is Trent Franks, and I have the privilege of serving in the United States Congress. And I'm speaking to you from here in the nation of Israel, the only Jewish state in the world, and America's most vital and trusted ally on earth. May I implore you to allow me a very few moments to share with you what I believe could prove to be the most important message I have ever expressed to America's Christian pastors and leaders. A few months ago, the jihadist government of Iran reached the point where it now possesses all of the components and technology necessary to become a nuclear armed nation. Iran needs nothing else from anyone except a little more time. If Iran gains nuclear weapons, they will give them to terrorists the world over, and Israel will be in range of nuclear missiles in the hands of an enemy who has openly declared to the world its intention to annihilate the tiny Jewish state and its people forever. Friends, the world once believed that an evil ideology calling for the extermination of the Jewish people would never gain a foothold to carry out such a genocidal tragedy. But the world and the Christian community in particular failed to respond in time to stop Adolf Hitler when we could have. And six million Jews were insidiously and brutally murdered. And the war that attended it killed 50 million people worldwide. It happened once, it must never happen again. I believe, as I know nearly all Christians in America do, that God has a sacred covenant with the people of Israel, and that the fate of America and human freedom in the world is inextricably linked to the peace and security of the state of Israel. However, only about half of Christians in America are even registered to vote, and only about half of those exercise their God-given responsibility to actually vote. It is a disgrace beyond my ability to articulate because when it comes to America's defense of Israel against the threat of a nuclear-armed Iran, the difference between the presidential candidates this November could not be greater. Mr. Obama has expressed more open rebuke toward Israel for building homes in its own capital city than he has expressed toward Iran for building nuclear weapons with which to threaten the peace and security of the entire human families. The United States does not accept the legitimacy of continued Israeli settlements. We must choose a president who will stand with Israel and not one who would leave Israel to stand alone. So I'm asking you, even pleading with you and with all the pastors and the Christian leaders all over America to do two very simple things while there is still time. First, send this message to one of your fellow pastors or leaders. Second, please implore every single person in your churches or your communities to vote and take one person with them to the polls in November. Can America's Christian leaders not do that much for the sake of our children and future generations? Friends, for so very many reasons, this is a destiny election. So very much is at stake. But if every Christian goes to the polls and takes one person, we can still win the day for America and for Israel and for the cause of human freedom. God help us and thank you and Shalom.